All right, guys, here's an update using the power mining drop shift. Let's do. In no power. Face north. Create your map. This will be a full walkthrough on setting up a power miner with adding in the different world items and the gems for dropping. Let's see, let's get this out. Right here looks good. Let's calibrate. Now remember, you only have to face north when you create your map, not when you calibrate. So if you need to change your camera view to get a better view of your world item, by all means, go for it. All right. Set this up. You guys should already know how to do this. All right, a lot of secondary with the darker color. That looks good. And then I'll save. So let's go back. That was one. Let's do that one. That's better. All right, before we start the calibration, you want to make sure your shift is selected. Let's calibrate. And what I do is right click mine, shift, click, drop, right click mine, shift, click, drop, and do this for about five to 10 times. I use the right click, op like right clipped option to mine because if it for some reason accidentally misses, then you're gonna go for a little walk. And this right here will eliminate the the risk of walking away if you right click. You only need to calibrate a few loops. I mean, calibrating for 10, 20 minutes, that's a complete waste of time. It could also cause issues later on down the road. So there's no point in doing that. This will be my last one right here. And then finish. Okay. You go from the rock, right click, mine, hold shift, click the your, release shift, repeat. Now what we're going to do is you see right here. I have another world item right here that's not in there. So let's add that and let's go ahead and add the gems to drop them. Um, left click, drag. There. Now you can see I dragged it in. So they're both there. And then now let's do the gems. Um, Click the plus next to the or. And then select, uh, let's see if I can make this window smaller so you guys can see it. I don't know, probably won't be able to. Yeah. Oh, well, you guys should know how to do that. Left click, swap then this should come up. Um, in order to get this, either you have to have all the gems in your inventory and then load them up that way, or all you really have to do is once, because once Genesis saves it, you can always go back and have the gems there. So if you go power mine, myth, or lore, or coal, the gems will still be there, so you don't have to carry them ever again. So if I go to the right, 
There's a diamond. I'll load it. You can see it's right there. I'll click the plus. Swap again. I'll move over to emeralds. And then I'll go swap again. Sapphires plus swap. Okay, rubies. So I can left click the diamond, click drag. You see how I have it selected? Drop it right in with the ore. Same thing goes for the emerald. Ruby. Sapphire. So when Genesis sees any one of these objects show up in the inventory, it right away goes and clicks and drops it. So let's click. Uh, that's it. That's pretty much all you need to do. Start. And there you go. Mine one, drop one using two rocks, full gem dropping and all. Hope this guys helps you. I know there's a lot of people that have issues with getting this a good stable running bot doing mining, but it's actually probably one of the easiest ones out there. So I hope the video helped you guys.